Phew. Slap shot in. Oh, hits the back of the net and cuts the net open. So this is our hockey net that we built here with our 221 pieces. If you want to play along, the kit is down below. And here, we even threw a little bit of pucks in here at the, at the end here. And uh, I think it looks dead on like a hockey net. I hope you do too. Um, so if you want to play along, like I said, the link to the kit is down below. You can buy it for about $15. It's just a classic kit that we use each and every day for our five minute videos. And uh, let's go check out how I built this. So let's go build a hockey net. Um, not sure how we're going to do that because we don't have netting, right? I mean, but let's go put five minutes on the clock and let's see what we can build. So hockey net, I think red and I think white. Um, the structure being red, like the poles of the net being red and then white for, um, for the netting, right? Uh, so something like this maybe. And there's a little half circle in front of the hockey net, so that looks right. Uh, maybe I can use this for the netting. That looks right, but I got to build it up to the second level here. And then the top, maybe the top looks like this. Um, and then the, how am I going to do the poles? Uh, So maybe that for the back side of the, of the, oh, I'm way zoomed out because we did that ice castle not too long ago. So I'm way zoomed out. Okay, so there we go. So there's the, that. And then, maybe something like this. Maybe the one side is red and the other side is orange. It's too much structure, not enough net. But let's now put this on top. Right? Am I too big? Did I build this too big? Maybe I did. What if I bring it back and just use this? That's actually better. That's actually much better. So maybe we just move this up here and then move this to here. Like that. And then I gotta find a way to put that. Oh, there you go. It just kind of hangs out there. Does this look right to you? We're two and a half minutes in. I like how that just kind of sits there and it gives the right effect. That roundedness on the back. Or we could use these. Oh, let's see. I'm messing with it and I shouldn't be. I think I was done. And I bet I'm going to go back to that design. But now I'm messing with it, aren't I? Yep, it doesn't look right. switch it up one more time so we're gonna get more of a there we go get that top on now the top it's funny the the, the goalie actually keeps come on 
actually keeps a water bottle on the top of the netting. I don't know how many people know that. There we go. That looks like a hockey net. Let's get a better view. It's uh, almost five minutes are up. Let's go down here and I'll show you how what I mean by this. I think it turned out fairly well. So let's bring this closer. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Yeah, I gotta get lower again. Trying to reduce my tripod a little bit. There. What do you guys think of that? I think it looks like a hockey net. It's got the roundedness on the backside. We're past our five minutes. It's got the roundedness on the backside that I was really wanting to try to add um, to this design because it looks, you know, it looks like a U shape. It kind of looks like that on the backside, you know, that roundedness uh, that, that the hockey nets typically have. So we've added the roundedness. We got the top shelf, if you will. And then we have um, the netting coming back and out, which I didn't expect to be able to do or replicate. And I think it turned out fairly well. So there's a hockey net and it's got the little rink front up here where only the goalie can live, right? Um, everybody else has to stay out of that little zone or they get in trouble and they get penalties or they get face-offs based on the fact that they were in that zone and trying to score. The goalie is supposed to live in that little zone. So I think that turned out fairly well. What do you think? Leave a comment down below if you think that turned out good. If you don't think it turned out good, leave a comment or a suggestion of how we could have made this better. Also, um, if you build a hockey net or a hockey stick or whatever, hockey, leave a comment down below to wherever you store your photos or leave it in our social media. There's a whole bunch of links to our social media down below and just go hashtag make share daily and we'll get it and be able to comment on your creations as well. This is part of a community. What I make, I share what I hope you guys make. You share to us. Uh, I'd love to have everybody sharing to the community. Um, and commenting on each other's builds. It'd be great. That's what I'm trying to build here at Makeshift Daily, and I hope you join us. So let's go check out what we're gonna build tomorrow. So a hockey net, that was a cool build. Now we gotta spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow. Now we got nothing but snow and ice and winter sports on the board, and let's see what we got today. So a plow truck. If you saw us on our um, tutorials, we actually built a large plow truck out of the Lego Technic 4x4 that actually moves and operates and everything else. But now we gotta build a plow truck out of our 221 pieces that we have in our classic kit. So let's tune in tomorrow and find out how I built it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications when our videos come out. Also, if you're a member and a subscriber already, you're halfway to entering a new, brand new um, X-Wing giveaway competition. So go check out our giveaway video and find out how you can enter to win. Okay, let's, uh, let's go check out the video tomorrow. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Slap shot.